I think there's a big difference between what the robots are going to do and what AI is going to do in some science fiction distant future and what they're going to do in the next 10 years for the, the practical economy. And the quote that you have of me is talking about that, that long-term future that I really hope we get to. But right now, that's a lot more science fiction than science. So Scott, uh, what are the areas that we should be thinking about for efficiency where AI is going to really help? And are there areas where you would say AI should be walled off as it gets closer to human intelligence? We shouldn't let it have thoughts or, or make decisions about a certain group of things. Yeah, so I, I think the, the, the current boom in AI, you can, you can really uh, reason about as a decrease in the price of prediction. So AI is a tool that has made prediction a lot cheaper and you can use all your traditional tools of economic analysis to think about that, which means that you know, AI's complements are going to increase in value like data uh, and people, because the price is lower, people are going to use prediction you know, in places where they didn't used to. You can now afford to put a, 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 a speech predictor on your phone that guesses what you're saying so that Siri can listen to you. So I think that's the current era of AI is about that decrease in the price of prediction. I think the future of AI is about robots and is about a decrease in the price of labor. Uh, specifically monotonous or dangerous labor. And that's uh, sort of factory work and, uh, and uh, packaging, that kind of stuff. And that's really where Vicarious lives. Vicarious is focused on building general intelligence that can help robots to do uh, jobs in factories that right now are, 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 are too dangerous or too expensive uh, to, to have robots do. And then to answer your, the last part of your question, what, what, what should we wall off? Uh, I really think that autonomous weapons are among the world's worst ideas, dumbest ideas. The problem with autonomous weapons is that if you have a, an autonomous drone army, your army becomes my army if I find a single bug in your code somewhere. And if there's one thing right. we know about software is that there's no such thing as bug-free software. So it's just a super dumb idea and I don't think people should be building it. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.